that the Hollywood studio founded by Steven Spielberg has written to George Osborne, the Chancellor, urging him not to act the UK Film Council. The editor, Mark Simon, uh, wrote the story. Um, tell us more about what you learned, Mark. Jeremy, uh, what happened uh, about a week or so ago was that one of the most senior executives at uh, DreamWorks Studios, the uh, uh, Hollywood studio behind films like Sweeney Todd and uh, uh, The War of the Worlds, uh, wrote to George Osborne uh, and implicitly uh, threatened uh, to withdraw future investment from uh, Britain unless there was clarity around the future uh, role of British film promotion. I mean, the UK Film Council has been a very important part of the industry for some time. Uh, the government, of course, has been arguing uh, that it's not uh, acting support for films, it's simply acting a film quango. Uh, earlier, Ed Vasey, the culture minister, uh, told us why he felt the cuts were necessary. Well, I would say that we're not cutting back in terms of investing in culture, and that's precisely why we've abolished the UK Film Council. We've got a save money and what we've always said is we want to where we have to reduce costs we want to reduce it at the back end if you like rather than the front line so by uh, removing some administrative costs we can invest more uh, in film we're keeping the lottery money for film absolutely secure and we're keeping the film tax credit which is worth uh, more than a hundred million pounds to film in this country and we're keeping that in place Mark could be quite messy this round after all the film industry I think uh, generate something like four and a half billion pounds a year for this country. Well, Jeremy, I think it was always inevitable that given the scale of the public spending cuts and the number of quangos that were going to be culled, that you were going to get some special interest groups who would uh, protest pretty publicly. And of course, when you get an industry uh, like the film industry, which of course is you know, known uh, around the world, uh, it, it was always going to be a potentially difficult obstacle for the government to overcome. I think the key thing now for the ministers will be to prove that the support for the industry itself is not going to suffer as a result of the axing of the Film Council. And I understand that Ed Basing is going to write to the key stakeholders in the industry over the next week or so to outline exactly why they should have faith in the government's ability uh, to keep supporting British films. Doria, thanks very much indeed. Mark Plyman, who broke that story.